Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Teacher Idam Bruni Jamari from YMS Edutech Learning Hub. Inshallah, we help students to improve in math and science by two grades in less than three months. Alhamdulillah, today I will be revising with the PSLE math students and this live session is also suitable for primary five students. We are revising on repeated identity. Okay, let me write that down. Repeated identity. This is the second heuristic concept that I'm going through. Um, last two weeks, I went through the first uh, heuristic concept, which was remainder concept. If you have missed out on that live session, not to worry. You can simply go to YMS EduTech Learning Hub Facebook fan page where we archive the video there, or you can check out our YMS Math Science Fusion Instagram account. Um, the video is being archived in the IGTV, inshallah. Okay, so today we are revising on repeated identity. So repeated identity is a heuristic question in which the student will see from the question that an object or a person is being repeated in the question. And we can solve this kind of question, repeated identity, either by model method or unitary method. Repeated identity talks about a repeated object or person in the question. And we can solve repeated identity either by model method or unitary method. So by model drawing or unitary. For this live session, I'll be sharing with you how to solve repeated identity question using both methods. Okay, and just like the first um, heuristic concept that we, we revised on, which was remainder concept, repeated identity can also be tested in a variety of topics. It can be tested on fractions, decimals, percentage, as well as ratio. Okay, so students need to take note Repeated identity can be tested on a variety of topics, either fraction, ratio, decimals, or percentage. And the basis of repeated identity is testing students on finding the first common multiple first common multiple or lowest common multiple of the repeated object or person. Okay, so let us now try to solve a question of repeated identity. So I have the question here. Okay, let's read the question together. Mailing has a quarter as much money as Farah. So there are two people here, Mailing, Farah. And just like the remainder concept, whenever we see a fraction, we see two numbers here, 1 and 4. So, which unit belongs to which person? So, Mailing has a quarter as many, as much money as Farah. So, Mailing has one unit, while Farah has four units. Rani has two-fifths as much money as Mailing. So, Two units belongs to Rani and five unit belongs to Mailing. If Rani has $72 less than Farah, what are we asked to find? We are asked to find the total amount of money the three of them have. So we want to find total for the three children or for the three people. Okay? So now let us draw a model uh, for us to solve this question. So we have two people here, Mei Ling and Farah. So I'm going to draw Mei Ling, Farah. 
So Mei Ling has a quarter as much money as Farah. So we're going to draw one unit for Mei Ling, four units for Farah. One, two, three, four. Okay, next. Rani has two fifth as much money as Mei Ling. So after reading two lines from the question, we can identify the repeated person or the repeated identity here. Oop. And the person is Mei Ling. Mei Ling is being mentioned twice. So Mei Ling is the repeated identity. Okay, so the question says Rani has two fifth as much money as Mei Ling. So Rani has two units, Mei Ling has five units. But if we look at our model, Mei Ling has one unit. So this is the part where students fall into the trap of having to draw four more units for Mei Ling, which is not true. Instead, the student should split Mei Ling's model into five parts or five units. Okay, so Mei Ling has five units. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and Rani has two units. Mei Ling has five, Rani has two. So Rani's two units are the two small units. Okay? And we must ensure that for every one unit of each person is equivalent. So for every one unit of Mei Ling's, it is equal to one unit of Rani's. But when we look at Farah's model, Farah's one unit is much bigger as compared to one unit of Mei Ling. So what do we need to do to uh, Farah's model? We have to split. For every one unit, we must split into five parts as well. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, let us indicate or annotate beside our model. What is the number of units for each um, person? Okay. So, mailing, five units. Farah, 20 units. Rani, two units. Okay, I have a question here. We can do a ratio method of this question, right? That's not it to the model. Yes, correct. So later I'll be sharing with you how to solve using unitary method. Okay? Yes, that's a good question. Thank you. A little green fairy dot. Thank you. Okay, so if Rani has $72 less than Farah, find the total amount of money. Okay, so Rani has $72 less than Farah. Farah. If we look at Farah, Farah has 20 units. Rani has 2 units. So, how many units less does Rani have as compared to Farah? Okay, so 20 units minus 2 units is equals to 18 units. What is this 18 units? This 18 units is $72. Okay, always find 1 unit. 72 divided by 18. That will be $4. Okay, so what does the question want? The question wants to know what is the total amount of money the three of them have. Okay, so we need to find the total number of units. So there will be 5 plus 20 plus 2. This is 27 units. So we need to calculate for 27 units. 27 multiplied by $4. $108. Three people have $108 in total. Right? So this is model drawing to solve in solving um, repeated identity. So what I did to the model was I had to split the model such that every one unit for each person is equivalent. Okay? Okay, so now let us solve the method using ratio or unitary method. Second method, unitary method, or some people they call it the ratio method. Okay, so let's list down 
uh, what are the different number of units in terms of ratio for each person. Okay, so Mei Ling has a quarter as much money as Farah. So Mei Ling is to Farah is one is to four. One unit is to four units. Usually I will advise my students to write down whether it's unit or whether it is the exact um, number, absolute value. Because students tend to overlook the fact that if they do not write the word unit, they might think that that is the absolute value. Okay, so it is best that every value is accompanied by an indication of a unit at the back. Okay? So mailing is to para, one is to four, and Rani has two fifth as much money as mailing. Okay, so I have another person here, Rani, Rani two units, and mailing five units. Okay, notice that I do not write the number of units for Rani on the same row as mailing is to Farah because the ratio of Rani is to mailing are different. Okay? So looking at this table, looking at this table, we can easily identify the repeated identity or the repeated person here is mailing. So if mailing is being repeated, that means this one unit and this five unit are referring to the same amount of money. Okay, so we need to find the first common multiple of one and five. Okay, so first common multiple of one and five will be five. So for the first row, I must multiply by five. For the second row, multiply by one. Or just leave the second row as the same. Okay, so now I can find out what is the ratio of many for the three people. Okay, so this row multiplied by 5, so I will have 5 unit is to 20 unit. This row multiplied by 1, so 5 times 1 remains as 5. 2 times 1 will be 2. Okay, and because we want to find the total amount of many, what we can do is to have another column stating the total. So the total will be 5 plus 20 plus 2, which is 27 units. Okay? Alright, so now we can start to solve. Rani has $72 less than Farah. Rani less than Farah. How many units less? So 20 units minus 2 units, 18 units. This 18 unit is referring to $72. Okay, always find one unit. 72 divided by 4, that is, sorry, 72 divided by 18, that is $4. And we want to find the total number of units. 27 multiplied by 4, that is $108. Okay. So this is the second method in solving repeated identity. Then you may ask, so which method um, does will or which method is preferable for my child? Different child has different preference. Some students they love to draw model and they are very good at it, so they can stick to model drawing. However, some students they prefer the unitary method because they see that they say that it's easy for them to see which of the three people or the three objects are being repeated. So it is dependent on the child's preference. And I will advise my students to have a variety of tools with them. So they must learn how to draw model. They must also learn how to do this unitary method. Because at times, model method can be complicated. Or at times, unitary method One moment. can be... Who do you want to send it to? Sorry. <laughs> or for unitary method, at times, it is hard to visualize. So it is good for students to know more than one type of ways to solve a problem sum. Okay. So I hope you find this video sharing, this live session useful. And if you know of anybody who will be sitting for PSLE or who will be sitting for primary 5 exam, please share this with them so that more people can benefit from this. Inshallah, I'll see you again tomorrow whereby I'll be revising with you on PSLE science. Inshallah. I'm teacher Ida Muri Jamari. 
from YMS Edutech Learning Hub. Hurry to success.